Hello and welcome to SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange. With me today, David Carvalho, the CEO of Naoris. Am I saying it right first? You are indeed. Okay, awesome. So first, tell me, tell me about the company and then let's get into your background. So what is Naoris? Sure, so um, Naoris is a company that aims to fundamentally disrupt the way that cybersecurity works by changing the way that it functions at its lowest level. So we actually go into a market that has seen all sorts of breaches coming into the fray. It's very common for you to turn on the news and see that the company has been breached, millions of records have been lost, um, cyber espionage, cyber war going on amongst uh, different states. I will not mention them here, but people will hear about them in the news. Um, and all sorts of uh, uh, cyber crime happening as well. So this actually ends up being a cost to the global economy as of now of about $3 trillion a year. Um, and the, the ideas uh, in cybersecurity that actually get investment from companies that aim to defend themselves uh, globally is about one trillion a year, but still we don't see any results. So we aim to come here and fully decentralize that space, therefore making it really hard for attackers to subvert a distributed system, and that's really what we're here to do. Okay, so I want to talk to you more about the company and what you do, but let's go into your background, because you've got a, an amazing resume in cryptography and information security and hardware security and machine learning, and I mean, it's just unbelievable. So tell me a little bit about you and Where'd you go to school? What kind of jobs have you had and what led you to start the company? So I was always a bit of a tinker and um, I actually, the first computer I got was just too slow to play games and that's probably the reason why I'm here <laughs> because if it was probably I would just be playing games and I actually learned how to program and also learned English with it. Um, so. Uh, at the time, I was basically interested in what you would call today cyber forensics. At the time, it, just called, it was just called undeleting stuff. So over time, I actually worked quite a bit as a freelancer in cybercrime investigation. Um, and I was a cybersecurity researcher for uh, quite a while. And then I, I had uh, a number of jobs in uh, big global companies doing cybersecurity, which at the time was quite a niche thing. And to an extent, it's becoming a lot more democratized now. Um, so my latest two roles were at quite high level. I was the Chief Information Security Officer of London City Airport and also the Global Chief Information Security Officer after for a, a group of companies called OCS Group. Um, they actually um, um, do mainly physical security. They employ about 70,000 people just in Southeast Asia area, in total about 100,000 people. So they are a giant of outsourcing in that area. And uh, uh, I was always involved in actually protecting critical infrastructure or national uh, critical infrastructure or nation state based uh, uh, digital assets. Um, obviously, my perspective to uh, coming into this space was uh, a, a perspective of, uh, from a cybersecurity technical researcher in how, what can I do to actually change the approach to something that has been done over and over in the same way without uh, changing results. So that's kind of like the definition of insanity. That's right, that's right. Yeah, well, it, all we've had so many problems and we can't, you know, we can't keep up with all these hacks that are going on. There's From elections to uh, um, uh, military secrets being stolen to uh, um, cyber espionage, etc. So let's go back to Norris for a second. So you mentioned blockchain. So how can blockchain be used to make this business more um, efficient, um, to actually be able to be more um, productive? By approaching this problem with a blockchain-based solution, and actually, uh, it, this actually allows us to uh, use techniques that were never possible before, due to the, the, the decentralized nature of, 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 uh, of our environment. So basically, if let's say that I am an attacker, and uh, you know, I can give the example of Equifax, one, symbol, one sing single system that was subverted led to the attacker actually moving around uh, across the company and actually owning the business after a while and exfiltrating whatever information he wanted. So hundreds of millions of, uh, of records, credit cards, uh, uh, other sorts of financial information that will have a lot of impact on people's lives. This is just one example. There's thousands and thousands. Um, so my point is, Actually, the more complex a system is traditionally, the easier it is for an attacker to find a vulnerability in just one system and then subvert all the others. Uh, so our perspective actually turned that, turns that around completely. So we basically transform traditional boring networks into blockchains. So that means that every computer or device within those networks will actually know about the source of truth of all the others. So in, they cryptographically know what to expect correctly or incorrectly. So we can actually say, we can actually make the attacker have a much harder life when attacking these systems because 
when traditionally it just had to subvert one to, to, to actually own the whole company, right now it's the opposite. He actually needs to subvert all of them to own one. Interesting. Okay. So they act as an army, let's say. Yes. Now, um, you've also got some high-tech heavy hitters on your what, an advisory board or they're helping with the company, right? Absolutely. So I am fortunate enough to be uh, very well known, uh, at least in, in, in the UK and in the, in, in the European sphere of cybersecurity or as a thought leader. Um, I do speak in a lot of conferences and symposiums and I meet really interesting people that are thought leaders in this area as well. And many of them are my personal friends. And um, um, after actually giving them either a demo of our product or explaining them what we are doing, they have become interested in being our advisors. Many of them are published authors, CEO of cybersecurity companies or compliance companies, and uh, uh, or they're actually at sea level in some companies, um, big companies. Also, the, uh, an ex chief of intelligence um, of NATO. Um, that actually saw the power in what we are trying to do, or it actually we have achieved already, um, uh, backed by a blockchain system that was allows us to do things that were not possible before. Um, looking into the future, as cybersecurity every year basically doubles or triples the amount of uh, assets that are lost and number of attacks that exist in systems. Um, so our our solution actually brings uh, quite a different uh, approach to that uh, very hard to deal problem. Oh my goodness, and I can only imagine that it's going to grow exponentially as we become even more technological in Absolutely. the in the future generation. So tell me about your token. You're also uh, selling sure. a token. So uh, as you mentioned, so as the IoT grows, it only also makes sense to have actually a background that is um, blockchain based that actually manages all these verifications and transactions within our ecosystem. So the ecosystem is a blockchain based ecosystem and uh, our token offering is initially often an ERC20 based token. So uh, this is what we'll be selling on our pre-sale and, and, and token generation event. Um, but after, uh, we'll be releasing also to the initial investors um, or to the initial, um, um, how can I say, adopters of this token, um, uh, another token that will actually be used in the backbone of the cybersecurity uh, engagement. Why? As more devices actually get added to the network and added to the world, you know, as, as you said, it, um, you know, the more time passes, the more devices actually appear in the world, be it phones or laptops or servers, etc. It becomes very complex. So blockchain fortunately thrives in complexity, which is the opposite of what happens in traditional environments. So um, with that environment, we allow people to actually mine that cryptocurrency and instead of just mining coins for mining coins, they actually mine cybersecurity and they're paid with something of value for it. So this allows uh, us to have two tokens, one that actually identifies and is a, is a utility towards our customers and another one that allows the masses or the, uh, what we call the, the security node holders to actually mine cryptocurrency even without having uh, big hardware because we'll be using a different uh, um, approach to mining than, for example, Bitcoin uses. So you can actually you mine... You don't have all the energy kind of oh. use that you need. That's a whole other story. So David, what customers are you aiming for? Oh, that's a very good question. Thanks for asking. So actually, the area of, uh, that we are aiming actually, are, um, they are hard to protect environments. These are the areas that we are aiming at. So I'm talking about critical infrastructure clients, national critical infrastructure clients, things like airports, hospitals, um, nuclear power stations, so on. Critical infrastructure, um, things like water treatment plants, dams, things like this that have lots of uh, SCADA devices and PLC systems, small, small um, logical uh, uh, chips that are very hard to protect. Um, and also industrial clients and of course nation states and militaries. So nation states agencies, governance structures and militaries, they tend to be high value targets um, that tend to have the hardest to defend attacks thrown out at them, mainly through cyber war and cyber espionage. And these are the areas that we believe that we will shine on uh, with our blockchain based environments. So thank you so much, David Cavallo, for joining us today, CEO of Naoris. Best of luck to you and a huge global problem. So best of luck as you try to solve that. So thank you very much. And thank you as well for joining us on SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange. Have a great day.